page here, which half dozen cuts. Um, I did a little work uh, since this afternoon when we got this bottom piece tacked in place um, off camera. But anyway, so what I did off camera was um, this corner had a little bit of rot in the corner. So um, I cut that out. And I made a I made a new piece um, to go in there. Um, it's round. It's not a hard hard bend. So um, how I did that was uh, I just cut out a piece of fit and then um, I bent it around a rod. Um, I don't know if it's just an old rod that was hanging around and I strapped in. So and that gave me the perfect bend to meet up with the store. So, um, so I have this piece ready to, to go in and get packed in place. Um, but yeah, here we go. I'm going to start packing this corner piece in and, um, and we're going to start welding this in solid here. So here we go. Let me plug the welder in. Got him tacked in place. Yeah. Now I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go ahead and start start welding her up. I'm not going to weld this up uh, super fast or solid. Um, I mean, I'm going to weld it up solid, um, but I'm not going to weld it like super fast like I have been with some of this stuff. Um, though it is thick metal and you know it is in some, some heavily bended areas, uh, you know it's a very important piece that the door skin has to go on. So I don't want any warpage in this thing. So I am going to go slow and take my time. Um, I'm going to get the well done out. Um, and, you know, cool my welds. So. There's a little, uh, little tear in the metal there. There's actually a couple of them that I got to weld up. Um, but that was that was one of them. So I just welded up that tear. Oops, 
something in my eye when I blew out the door. Piece of sand or something. Grind that down and clean that up. So many cords and everything around here. Got cameras plugged in everywhere, airlines, welders, ground cables. So down here in this area is, is very important um, to make sure like every weld is a good strong weld and that they have a good overlap. Um, you don't want no pinholes left in here because um, when, when it rains or you're washing your vehicle, you know, the water goes down inside this door through, through the window. Um, and there's drain holes in the bottom. Um, I gotta put the drain holes back in there because this is a new piece. But there's drain holes in there for the water to go through. Uh, now, I, you know, I'm gonna make sure I do a good job welding it, and then it's gonna get rust grouped in there and sealed really well. Um, and even once I get this uh, skin put on, I, I'm gonna try my best to to get down inside there um, and make sure everything is good and sealed. Um, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna rust proof it before I put the, the panel on, but then once the panel's on, I'm, I'm hoping, I mean, there's not much room in here, but I'm, I'm hoping that maybe I can reach down in there with a brush, um, you know, even if I have to tape a paint stick to it or something so that I can reach down in there and really coat the inside of this so it's well protected because if any water gets into a pinhole or anything in a well it, it's going to rust um, so got to make sure that it's really welded good um, with no pinholes and then make sure it's sealed really good so this is a really important spot I may even like down in these corners um, smear some seam sealer in there after I rust proof it before I put this panel on just to make 
make sure. Um, you know, the corners are really the only place that I'm welding. I mean, I, I'm welding all across the top here, but the water is going to roll over that. So as long as I have, um, as long as I have it nice and clean in here, and we seal it up, and water can roll over it, I'm going to have to make sure I grind this edge nice so that the water can roll right over it. Um, make sure it's all nice and sealed, but these corners would be where water is going to sit. So I want to be um, I want to be real thorough with those corners. I want to be thorough with everything that I do, but. Um, I'm gonna bounce around like I normally do on the outside. Um, I'm gonna, you know, put a weld, cool it, and then put another weld like right on top of that. Like I said, I don't want to leave any any gaps or pockets for anything to sit in. Um, when you bounce around like that, um, you know, you'll you'll see in some of my other videos. I grind it all down and then I go back afterwards and and I hit any spots that I missed. Um, so I'm going to just try and do one weld at a time, moving along the entire thing, stacking my welds on top of each other, and hopefully when I go to grind it up, it'll be nice and clean with no, no voids or gaps or, or air pockets or anything, so... than everything from the inside on this so then that way on the outside I have very little grinding at least that's the plan Thank <laughs> you. 
cool. Looks good. I'm happy with that. So, um, got both corners welded up, uh, I'm happy with the way that the welds came out, um, nothing to worry about, no pinholes, um, good strong welds, so I think, um, I think I'm going to call it a night, um, you know, it's, it's almost 10 o'clock. So call it a night, I'll come back out tomorrow, um, we'll finish welding this up. Um, I'll probably, probably bring it outside, do a little sandblasting on it, and then we'll, we'll get everything all, all rust proofed and coated up and, and seam sealed and, and whatever I feel I need to do to, to make sure that this thing's going to last a long time. So, um, but getting there we got now we got a new piece it's almost in there this will this will be nice when it's done and after this all that's left is everything well thanks for joining us for another fun-filled evening of welding and grinding on the old 49. So, see you guys tomorrow. I'm out.